Hello everybody, this is Glenda Winkleman and welcome back to Creative Grandma. Today's video is going to be for all the crocheters who set up at the craft fairs. This is one of my favorite best sellers and you can just never have enough of the crochet dishcloths. This one is called the Crochet Knobby Dishcloth and the reason it's called that is because the edging border has little knobbies around it to help get in all those nooks and crannies of your glasses and dishes. Um, today, the yarn I chose is the Premier Home Cotton Yarn, which is 85% cotton and 15% polyester. And the reason I like this yarn is because it is a cotton blended with polyester which means it stays brighter, dries faster, and lasts longer and is very durable. Okay, before we get started, I'd like to make some suggestions. Now, if you're just going to make a couple of these for yourself, then I recommend just buying the small 2.1 ounce balls, because that's perfect if you just want a variety of different colors. But if you are a crafter who is setting up at the craft shows, and you're in it for the profit and want to make the most profit for your buck, then I suggest using the large 14 ounce cones. Now what I do, and hopefully you have AC Moores where you live, I get online, I print a 50-55% off coupon. These usually sell for about $9.99. You use a 50% off coupon, you get this large cone for $5. Let's begin. I already have my first loop of my yarn attached to the hook, so we're going to chain 22. Put your yarn over and pull through your first loop. Yarn over, two, yarn over, pull through, three. Okay, our foundation chain of 22 stitches has been completed, so now we're going to start row one. Now row one consists of a double crochet, single crochet, repeat. So first you're going to skip your first chain and you're going to go into the second one and do a single crochet. Now I do explain this in case you've never crocheted before so um, put your hook in the second chain, your yarn over, pull it through, yarn over and pull it through two. That is your single crochet. Now in the next chain you're going to do a double crochet. So yarn over, then put it through the next chain, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull it through two, yarn over, and pull it through two. Now that's your double crochet. Now we're going to do a single crochet in the next chain. So put your hook through the next chain, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull it through again. The next chain, we're going to do another double crochet. So yarn over, put your hook in the next chain, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull it through two, yarn over, pull it through two. In the next chain you're going to do a single crochet and pull it through. Now you're going to repeat this double crochet in the next chain, single crochet in the next chain and repeat that clear over to the end where you end with a single crochet. Okay, row one is complete. As you see we ended with a single crochet. So now we're going to begin row two. Row two, chain one, and then you're going to flip it and turn it. You're just going to turn it to the back so that this is the wrong side. Now you're going to do a single crochet in your beginning single crochet. So up here's your chain. Now there is a little thing here for people who've never crocheted before. Ignore that. You're going to go down here in this single crochet stitch here. So you're going to single crochet. And then this is a double crochet. You can tell the double crochet because it is higher than the other stitches. So you're going to do a single crochet in this double crochet. So go under the top two loops. I'm not sure if you can see, but always make sure you're under those two loops. And do pull your, yarn, your hook through, yarn over, and pull through. That's your second single crochet for the row. Now if you look, you have a single crochet here. So now you want to do a double crochet in that single crochet. And, and don't worry if I'm confusing you because I do have the instructions that are available at the end of this video. Okay, so yarn over, put your hook through that single crochet, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull it through two, yarn over, pull it through two. 
Now the next stitch is a double crochet. So you're going to do a single crochet in the double crochet. It's just the opposite. Single crochet in the double, double crochet in the single, single crochet in the double, double crochet in the single. So you're going to work that same pattern across and you're going to end with a single crochet in the next to the last stitch which is a double crochet and a single crochet in the end single crochet. So I'm going to go ahead and crochet across and then I'll be back at the end of row two. Okay now I'm at the end of row two. Now we're going to begin row three. Now this is a repeat of row two and three so after we're done with row three you should have the pattern down pack of how to do it. So we're going to go ahead and chain one and begin row three. So row three starts with a single crochet in the beginning single crochet which is right here. So let's go ahead, yarn through the, or hook through the stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. That's your beginning single crochet. Now the next stitch is a single crochet, so we want to do a, the opposite of what the stitch we're going in is. So if that's a single, you're going to do a double. So double crochet, yarn over, put your hook through the single crochet, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And now you're going to do a single crochet in the next double crochet. So hook in through the next double crochet, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. So now you're going to repeat the double crochet in the next single crochet and single crochet in the next double crochet across and then you'll end up with a single crochet in the end single crochet. So let me skip ahead and finish row three. Okay we're at the end of row three so you're going to go ahead and chain one and then you're going to start row four. Now to start row four what you're going to do is you're going to repeat row two and three nine times more for a total of 21 rows. So go ahead and begin your row four and then when you get to the end of row 21 this is what it should look like. So at the end of row 21 do not fasten off and do not turn. You're going to start your border right away and you're going to start your border by working down the left hand side of the length and around the bottom of the foundation and up around the side and back across the top. So to begin the border, now if you're new to crocheting, just take it slow. Watch the video if you have to watch it more than once. Just take your time. Once you get the hang of it, it'll be fun and you'll love making this design. You're going to chain one and then you're going to single crochet in this last single crochet you go all the way in between the last single crochet and the other one, right around the whole stitch. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull it through two. And then you're going to chain three. Yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull it through. That's your chain three. Now you're going to bring your hook back and you're going to go in the front loop of this single crochet that you just made. So put your hook in through that first loop and then what I do is I take it all the way down in the last, I'm not sure if you can see that, in this last side stitch of that single crochet. That way you're going through two different pieces of yarn. Yarn over and you pull it through all three. That's a slip stitch and that's what makes your knob, your little knobby. Okay. And then you're going to go in the next row in row and stitch and you're going to do a single crochet. So just find your end of your row, stick your hook in there, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull it through. Just a regular single crochet. Now your next row and stitch, you're going to put your hook through that right around the whole stitch, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull it through two. And then you're going to do the chain three again. You're going to go one, 
yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull it through. That's your chain three. And then again, you're going to take your hook and go through that front loop. And then right down through the middle of the base of that stitch, the same single crochet stitch, and you're going to put your yarn over and you're going to pull it through all three loops on hook. And there you have your second knobby. So then you're going to repeat single crochet in the next row in stitch, the single crochet chain three slip stitch in the same single crochet, and repeat that down to the corner. Okay, you just work down the side of your dishcloth and this is what it should look like. You can see how your little knobbies are starting to form on your dishcloth. So here we ended with a knobby in the last stitch down. So now we're going to go across the foundation row. So if you're really new to crocheting, the foundation row when you work across it is a little tough for some of the newbies. So what I suggest to people is if you're not quite sure where the chain is, look for the base of the stitches. So right here would be your first chain going across. Now I do have that little bit of yarn from when I started the foundation chain, so I'm just going to hold that right against my work and I'll be working my stitches right over it. That weaves it right in. So go ahead and put your hook through that first chain, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull it through again. That's your single crochet. Now we ended with a knobby, but we're also going to start with a knobby going across the base of the foundation chain. So go ahead and chain three, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull it through. Then you're going to go in the front loop of that single crochet and right down through the center of the base and that. Yarn over, pull it through all three loops on the hook. Now this is the same procedure that you did down the side, it's just where you're putting your stitches. So like I said, if you can't figure out where the chains are, this is a double crochet. So just go right in the base of the next stitch. So that's basically where your chain is. So if that helps you, then that's how you should do it. So go ahead and single crochet in that next, next chain, yarn over, pull it through. And then the next stitch, you're going to work your knobby, your single crochet knobby. Next stitch, single crochet. Next chain, the knobby. Next chain, single crochet. So let me work across that, and I'll come back at the end of that row. Okay, so now you can see what it looks like with two sides done with the knobby sticking up. So what I'm going to do is just explain how to do the other two sides. Working down the length of this side will be exactly the same as I showed you when you work down this side. You will start with the single crochet knobby in the first row and stitch down the length. Then you will do a single crochet, a single crochet knobby, and then a single crochet in the next row and stitch, and you'll continue on down the line until you get to the last row and stitch, which will end with a single crochet knobby. And then when you get to that, you will see that then you actually can see your stitches here, the single and double crochet across. So you'll start with your single crochet knobby in the beginning single crochet, a single crochet in the double, a single crochet knobby in the single, a single crochet in the double, and work yourself across to the last stitch. When I finish this, I'll go ahead and do it and I'll come back and show you how to join. Okay, now all four sides are done, and let me show you how to join your work. You're going to take your hook and come over here to your first single crochet that you started your border and insert your hook under, under your chain three loop but in the top of the single crochet. Yarn over, pull it through that single crochet stitch, and then pull it through the stitch on your hook. And then how I usually end is I chain two. Cut my yarn, just pull your hook up, and then push, just pull it down like that, which creates a little bit of a knot. And then you're just going to flip it on the back and you're going to weave that in through the back of your stitches. And then that is your finished knobby dishcloth. And here is a close up of the detailed instructions of what size hook your gauge you need to do and uh, how much yarn you need. And if you like this video, 
Uh, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel.